Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and what a joy it is to take a little time to visit with you again. We had a wonderful outdoor service on Sunday, and you know when the sun came up, it was just wonderful. We had such a good time. I hope we can do it. I hope we can do it again. I certainly want to thank Ray, Tony, and Chris, and everyone who helped work in setting up all that audio and, and video equipment so we could enjoy the service in person and live stream it to everyone. This week, uh, we had our first session of annual conference, the clergy session. But this year, like everything else, it's different. We did it virtually. And you know what? I want to be transparent with you today. I wasn't looking forward to it, and I was skeptical. How is this going to all work out? For sure, I wasn't keeping an open mind, but you know what? I was wrong. In fact, I was so wrong that I wrote a comment at the end of the section and thanked the leadership for how well everything was done. Everything was clearly communicated, and it went very smoothly. I share that because how often in our lives are you and I wary of the new, of change, or just when things are happening differently? It happened a lot during the pandemic. And you know what? Maybe that's a good thing. Especially at, ch at church, we're examining the way new ways that we can connect with one another. We have for the moment become what? a virtual church with a building, and it's unlike anything we've experienced before. In Isaiah 43, verse 19, we read these words. See, I am doing a new thing. Now, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a new way, making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Through the prophet Isaiah, God declares his intention to do a new thing and will recall Israel's deliverance from Egypt. Just as God had delivered his people in the past, so he will continue to deliver us in the present day. Just as he was about to do a new thing for Israel, I believe he's just about to do some more new things for each of us in our personal lives and here in our ministry at Wesley Church. So, let my lesson from annual conference be a reminder to all of us. God is still doing a new thing, and all of us, you and me, need to be open to a new and creative ways of being the church. You know what? Even here at Wesley, we now do very well at doing new things. We live stream our service every Sunday on Facebook and YouTube. And we routinely now hold our meetings on Zoom. And we've mastered social distancing so we can safely allow for in-person worship and Bible study. They are just a few ways that we are doing a new thing as we move forward. It makes me wonder, what else does God have in store for each of us and for Wesley Church? You know what? This time, I'm excited to see what will happen next. What about you? A few reminders. Uh, both Jeff Miller and Joyce Parnart uh, started their eight-week study of the Old Testament. Jeff's class meets on Sunday evenings at 6 p.m., and Joyce's class meets on Tuesday mornings at 10.30 a.m. And you know what? It's not too late to join them. The first session was just really an introduction session, and we would love for you to consider joining one of those classes. We are offering two classes intentionally so we can keep class sizes small. You know what? There's room for you. Uh, if you do plan on attending our services, we continue to ask you to RSVP. You can call or email the church office and just let them know that you're planning on attending. We do ask that you wear a mask uh, when you attend worship. We continue to live stream our service uh, on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on both Facebook and YouTube, and later it's posted to our website. Please, my friends, if you're not feeling well, if you've come in contact with someone that's had the virus, or you're not comfortable in joining us, 
know that we understand. And we acknowledge that for many of you, the right choice is to continue to worship with us online. Just Miller's uh, Sunday School class continues to meet following uh, morning worship uh, at 10 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Well, let's close this time with a word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Loving God, I confess that I'm not always ready and open to doing a new thing. Help me to be more ready and excited to see how you will do new things in my life and in ministry. I thank you for those tech-savvy folks that allowed our first session of annual conference to go well. Thank you for their creative work in doing a new thing. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.